Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to and today we start again with Foundry, but this time I'm gonna show you how to install the actual plugin inside your Shopify store. So without any delay, let's go to the payment gateway Foundry website and uh, I'm going to the full CMS list and I'm going to choose Shopify at the end of the actual list. Once you're here, make sure you are inside your uh, dashboard of your store. I have already created a demo store that I'm gonna show you now with some products. If I click on catalog, there we go, we got some already um, imported products so what we're going to do now to start the installation if you go to fondy.eu um, again here because i am in united kingdom will be uk uh, your url might might be different but anyway once you are in the shopify uh, page here uh, and again the shopify page inside the fondy eu you want to click on the installation link here that will take you to the um, Shopify installation for your plugin you're going to choose which of your store you want to install the plugin in this case it's going to be TM tutorials for me and I'm going to press TM tutorials install payment provider and job is done this is the first part the second part you go to enable the payment uh, system so what you're going to do here in the settings all right if you press setting just in case you don't see that and you go to payment providers as you can see the phone is has been enabled if you go to alternative payment method And you will see Fondy. So we're going to click on Fondy. I will leave all the payment um, card logos enabled. I can do test mode if I wanted to. But I'm going to add my merchant ID as I showed you before. On let's have a look here on Fondy. Uh, Shopify found yes I am in Fondy. just a few seconds please I'll get to my uh, gateway I'm going to log in so once you log in don't forget to I'm going to press this one here on the top here left you get your merchant ID uh, where are we there we go merchant ID and your secret secret key in this case it will be test okay for me once happy i'm going to activate fondy and as you can see fondy has been activated that's it what is all about i'm going to uh let's have a look here let's go back to the shop all right I'm going to close that uh, we don't need it anymore as I'm going to choose well I'll tell you what I'm going to do this if a second so I got one already I'm going to remove it and I'm going to do control F5 I want to make sure that everything looks right clear you know clean the cookies I'm going to continue browsing I'm going to choose some of the items say I like this backpack I'm going to say add to cart uh, the item has been added. I'm going to view at the cart. I'm going to press checkout. So that looks perfect. I'm going to add my mobile number or my email.
and I want to this keep up to date as usual my name I'll guess 444 as you remember is the most street apartment forget about it Canada United Kingdom and as you remember CF1 4 double T I'm not going to save it even though it's this is just a demo I'm going to press continue to shipping I'm going to choose the standard continue to payment and as you can see Fondi has been activated so I'm going to complete order as you can see after clicking complete order you will be redirected to Fondi to complete your purchase securely so I'm going to press complete order I'm going to get redirected I almost forgot to add the uh, documentations the second I forgot to copy the uh, the credit card test payment there we go test payment details I'm going to the approved one I'm going to choose the first one I'm going to paste there I'm going to do zero two doesn't matter 20 I'm going to agree and I'm going to press check out 148 BVP continue and as you can see the order has been processed you are not automatically redirected or just refresh the page and I can say here it says thank you all the actual uh, order has been confirmed and I'm going to go and continue shopping and there we go, um, I just showed you how to easily install Fondi for uh, uh, Shopify, how to implement it. I, I'm going back to the store itself. I'm going to get back to the settings, just to refresh you a little bit. Payment providers. Of course, don't forget, you got to do that first when I showed you. Later on, you got to um, click on the link to install it. It's very simple, you know. Not, not not a big deal to install it let's go back here and as you can see font is active you choose alternative and inside here you can actually choose well literally there is tens of uh, different providers that you can choose from anyway thanks again guy for um, looking at my uh, tutorial don't forget to subscribe click on the bell so you get notified for new um, you know new tutorials and i'll see you for the next tutorials it'll be very very soon for the next one don't forget i got the premiere on the 14th i'm recording it on the 13th so that will be tomorrow and uh this one um, it will be around after four four five days you know it depends how long it's going to take me to to you know to edit thanks again guys and i'll see you next time